All right, so it's squinting. I'm seeing the values in her face are starting to work. I'm seeing what I can knock down. And what's better left kind of open. I'm painting at a fairly low opacity as I get more and more refined and still try to make things look fairly incidental. And where I feel the sketch is too strong, I can erase it back. Same with the painting. Until I feel like I have the right balance. Okay, a place I can definitely be bold on the underpainting is this uniform. These kind of plum colors, the shadows it casts. Do you want to vary color? Though not so much that it pulls away from the main focus. You can see that in the navigator. And I'm not going to do things like her initials or the monogram or highly detailed because that would pull too much focus away from what's necessary. I mean, like my inspiration image here, it's better to just have it almost dissolve if at all possible. So I have to remind myself I'm not just trying to draw it, I'm trying to find the shadows and the shapes kind of disconnected that are helpful. Almost accidental. Be guided by my sketch, but not just make the sketch um, too strong. My brush is still big. I'm still on that kind of underpainting watercolor layer. I don't feel all the pressure. I think I would feel otherwise. And because it's on its own layer, I have a lot of advantages then. Remember my biggest blending trip is just stealing these kind of halfway colors from yourself as you overlap. You can always introduce something a little weird. Especially in the green, that red is a nice complement. Some of these blues should, should work as well, just to break it up.
I feel like I'm maybe getting a little too fussy there. Still, I want to tell more of this through paint and less through my sketch. So shapes, not lines, are what I'm going for here. So if I take the whole sketch away, you can still kind of see the form. It makes sense. So often with some kind of quicker, more spontaneous watercolors, you do see the pencil sketch underneath. And I'm not I'm shying away from that. I think that's going to be OK. as long as I can kind of control how much of visual emphasis that has. But there are places, and this is one, where I want to de-emphasize the sketch lines. Especially where it kind of just contains the shape. Instead have it feel a little bit more like the watercolor is just um, organically, you know, making these shapes of the shoulders. Sometimes getting some distance helps you see little value spots you can take more advantage of. Places where color is needed that you don't have it. I really like, and I wouldn't have gotten this without compositing, but I really like that I have this extremely strong green palette. Her hair is almost this like seaweed green, which is so weird, but works in the context of these watercolors. And of course works conceptually for Ireland and Irish independence. So it's not just the army kind of fatigue green, but also this, this really kind of shocking St. Patrick's Day, die the river kind of green that comes through. All right, I think I'm nearly done with that kind of underpainting. I don't know that there's a whole lot that I should do. Remember, it's it's it can be really easy to be super fussy. Like even just that made it a little too. Too didactic or too clear in you know, what the edges are. And I want to be more playful with it. All right. So 
erase a little bit away from the sketch here around the ear. How's it all coming together? And then in the refined painting, Knock some back. Let's take our brush down a little bit in its size. Gosh, not too much though. And let's see what we can do. And this is meant to be kind of for the final touches. So eyebrows kind of in the wrong place is on the refined painting layer and it's okay i like how this one's kind of sketchy and strange but i can tone it down a little bit right, and then steal some of that color come come around in the right place on the other side and of course can erase a little bit of more away from my sketch. That's giving me some of the darkness I like. So. so now notice because the my end product is really a mixture of my sketch and of my sketch and my final painting. I have both of those layers unlocked so I can work between them. I'm going to go down even a little bit lower in opacity. And decide what's best. Now that this is where the, the painting of the, the actual figure ends after this refined painting, but then it's dealing with the background and dealing with the different effects I might want there. Even going to unlock my underpainting and let certain things there be softened, changed. Save my work. And even though I'm erasing away, I'm only erasing away at 45%. So building lots of texture just through through the layering. So important to all types of digital painting. Saving your work as you go. And seeing how little you can get away with, basically. In the sketch, in everything. 